Hey crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up In Creations. How's it going? So, I had surgery last Thursday. I just had arthroscopic surgery on my left knee. Um, they said probable meniscus tear. Um, looks like when they went in there, I just have a lot of arthritis. Now, I'm only 42. And I asked him, I said, aren't I too young for this? Right? I mean, come on. But anyway, my house is a complete mess because I brought some things upstairs so that I could work on them while I'm in this healing mode. And so I've brought a bunch of stuff upstairs and Jim is going to kill me um, if I don't start doing something with this stuff soon and making things. And I really wanted to be in a craft show next Saturday. Um, it's actually Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's a fall foliage festival in our area that everybody does every year. But I don't think I'm going to have any help with me um, between my kids and Jim. And so I just didn't think that fresh out of having knee surgery that it was a good thing. So I'm going to try to look ahead and find one in November or December. Maybe even that's kind of closer to Christmas because some of the stuff I have is kind of more Christmas oriented. And in the past, sometimes um, fall shows didn't do as well um, with Christmas ornaments because people were like, oh, it's way too early to think about that. And I get that. So last year they had these little Dollar Tree um, lantern ornaments and they're a little bit different this year. The little centerpiece is different, it's larger, and they don't come apart the same. But I definitely um, wanted to make some more of these because I just really enjoy these and I love personalizing them to different things that I have and not necessarily making them Christmas. So at Joann's, and I'll try to insert a picture here in just a minute, um, they had a black lantern with a spider glued to it, no lie, and I swear it was $6.99, or it was $5.99, but it was either $6 or $7 for that thing. And it was one of the lanterns like they had last year with the skinnier um, tip in the middle, but that's the only thing it had going for it that was the same. Now these newer ones, and I've actually taken one apart, or the tag off of it but the newer ones this piece actually does come off a little bit easier um, of course I say that and I might struggle with this one as soon as I get on camera they're just hot glued to the ornament itself and you just basically pull that apart and it pretty much removes the glue that's on there now last year you actually had to remove if you have any from last year that you collected you actually had to remove this wire piece in order to get it apart. Well, this year you don't have to do that because it just comes apart right at the top. And I showed this on one of the haul videos that I did as well, but um, just in case you hadn't seen that yet. And then this piece comes out, and then this opens up, and you can fill it. Now, there was another gal on here who's a very talented crafter. I absolutely love watching her videos, SS Crafter 1. She did the same thing with hers last year, too, and she made some of the most adorable ones. So if you're looking for different ideas, I'll link both of those videos in the description box down below so you can get ideas. Um, and as far as I can tell, these are really um, plentiful at the Dollar Tree this year. But like I say, they are a little bit different. Now, I thought to myself, if I really wanted to make one Halloween, they have these little rings. Whoops. I hit the camera. They have these little rings at the Dollar Tree. Aren't they pretty? I mean, I like the jewels in these, but they have the purple and the orange. And of course, you know, it's a ring. I'll throw the rest of these in some of the Halloween bags that I do. But um, otherwise, you can just cut that little piece off and attach it to the lantern as well. And it's just like the one at Joann's for a lot less. Now, when I did some of these, I did take this little bit of glue that was in this area. You could re-put some glue in there, but I'm not doing it. They seem to be holding together pretty well, as long as these little pieces aren't broken. There's like a little, 
see if I can show you up close. There are like two little tap tags in there or extensions that will slide in together into these little holes. So if these holes even had glue on them, I try to remove that as well. So, a little glue booger. And so I have so much fun filling these up. So you can get fake snow, you can get sequins. Um, they have this at the Target Dollar Spot. Look how pretty that is. Little snowflake sequins. And of course, this is from Target as well. It's just sparkling glitter. You can use this as your snow in the bottom of them. Um, this is like $3.99 for this big container. And I would say it would fill a good bit of these because you're only really looking to fill in you know but so far in the bottom of these and I'll show you some of the different things that I've used inside of these as well so I absolutely love these Jim went to Harrisonburg today to do some stuff for his sister I kind of wish I would have went because that's where Hobby Lobby is and while he was doing things I could have went in there but I'm gonna try to use up some of my stash but these are just little poinsettia um, flowers and of course you have to add the glue to the back of them if you don't throw them around but these are so pretty and for $2.99 I couldn't make them you know any cheaper because everything with Hobby Lobby Christmas has been 40% off now for at least a month if it wasn't 40% off for a week or so since like July then I must have just missed that week but I also bought like some of these little tiny mini trees. Now some of this stuff like at Hobby Lobby is like a really good deal. So $2.99, 40% off, really good deal. Styrofoam balls. We all know that those are so expensive. Well they have like a pack for $3.99 or $4.99 for six and then you get 40% off. If you buy them at Walmart, you don't get the discount, and um, theirs are like $4.99 or $6.99. I can't even remember, but it's ridiculous if you pay for styrofoam balls. And that's what I've been using to make my little bed spring snowmen. So I've used some of these, and what I usually do is use wire cutters and cut off this little gold piece that's at the bottom. It cuts really well. These are from... Um, celebrate celebrate it so these must be from Michaels but they're really nice little trees and I like these because you can kind of even add them to where you add some of the glue alongside the actual wire piece and then glue it up next to here and it can't be but so tall because you know it'll run into where this concave is in but if you even cut part of it off and so that tree sticks up a little higher you know it just gives you some variance and then you can cut one off at the very bottom and it's closer to the bottom and makes it look like a nice little treescape I have all kinds of different buttons that I've used um, these were my favorite last year and I have yet to break into these but I will be making a few with some of these really beautiful deer I I would venture to say that these were at Michael's and Joann's last year, these different buttons, but I haven't looked for them this year, mainly because I still have a stockpile. I want to make one with little flamingos, so I think I'm going to go down and try to find my sand and add some sand in the bottom of them and make some with the flamingos in them. I haven't done that one yet. I've made some with the little fairy doors and of course there's um, fairies welcome there's little mushrooms and these cute little doors now these are a little bit trickier to fit in the thing I've had to glue like right at this very edge and they just barely fit in with the lid on it but they fit I've got these cute little mermaids I haven't done any with these yet but look how super cute they are I've already got some of those out of the package but I thought they would be really cute and maybe even add some sand to one of them that I put those in as well. And here's the little dolphin. 
and oh there's little elephants now most of these will not fit in the thing like he's too wide this one's definitely maybe if you set him up this way he would fit in there let's see but it gets tricky because you don't you don't want to put him all the way down because the little piece will hide him i'll try to show you what i'm talking about so you'll know but if you put him all the way down you know that kind of hides him so you kind of do want to glue it up a little bit higher and it looks like he he might fit I don't know, it's going to be catchy with trying to put him up and have that flower up in the air, but isn't he just adorable? I mean, the other version of that is that you could um, put him to the outside of the, you know, lantern and put other stuff on the inside, like for a carnival or something. Huh? That new movie is coming out with Dumbo, and I think it'll break my heart. We went and watched A Star is Born last night, and I cried because, you know, I'm a big baby anyway and emotional and, you know, being out of work and in pain. Yeah, it just throws everything in more. <laughs> but actually, I have done very well with this so far. Um, I can't complain at all. I've, I've taken one uh, regular pain pill the first day that I came home. And I got nauseous that night, so I haven't taken any more of them since then. Um, so I've been maintaining with ibuprofen, and that's done the trick. So, very fortunate. Now, these cutie patooties, I would love to do, like, glue them on top of each other or on each side. And then put this in the center of it. And maybe put rainbow glitter down in the bottom. So, even just showing you guys things sparks ideas in my head I also have these cute little bicycles but I don't know if these will fit there's so many different ones and I plan to show you some of them that I've made so far and then I'll make another follow-up video of all the ones that I do but it looks like the bike will fit and I guess it would be really cool to kind of just center it on that center piece maybe and put the hot glue kind of on the edge there. Let me make sure you can even see what I'm talking about, but in that area. So that would be pretty cool. And of course, you know, they make so many different buttons. Um, I bought these. They're like it says a cut above, but it's all kinds of little hairdressing things and nail polish. And I thought these would be so cute for my niece. They have um, these little dragonflies, which would be really super cute inside of one. Looking like it's flying. They have these little scrolled shabby um, chic hearts, you know, that you can glue to the outside. And sometimes you have to watch if... They're flat-backed, you don't have to do anything, but if they have that little hump, then I just use a pair of wire cutters and I clip it as close to that edge as I can get it. Now, the one with the spider, I think I might add one of these um, Halloween uh, witch's hats or the moon to the inside of that. That would be really cute. See what else I can show you. They have all kinds of different little snowflake ones. These um, have the little foam on the back. I always rip off that foam and add the hot glue to the very back of these. You can buy these also um, without being a sticker. They're just the um, actual buttons. Some of them have the flat back just like these do and some you have to cut them off. So you just have to look. And then you can even buy, like these are just some little mini resin owls. Now these are a little more expensive. Um, I'm not sure. Let's try it and see if these will even fit on that center piece. But he would be really good setting right on that center as long as he's not too tall. And he is just barely fitting in there. Um, so you would want to make sure you smash down your glue really good. But he's pretty cute. 
Um, last year they had these wooden tags for like wine bottles um, to give to people in the Target dollar spot. And they were a dollar. Like really, I bought probably four or five packs of these last year. This is my last one. But I added some of these across the front of these lanterns last year. And I thought they looked so cute. So this year, if I can't find any more, I'm gonna make my own out of paper and just do Merry Christmas or Tis the Season or you know different things like this. I think that would be really cute. I have branched out a little bit more. Um, I bought some dyes off of AliExpress and I'll admit, I didn't know that um, some of those were copyrighted pieces on there prior to ordering some of that stuff, but there are some no brand on there that are not proprietary, um, but I, I have noticed that they do sell a lot of stuff like that, and so it makes me kind of iffy about some of that stuff and the, and the quality, but I guess on the other hand of the quality side of that, um, they're the ones that are making them for the U.S. sellers to repackage and send out, so I don't know. I don't know what the difference is, but I decided to branch out on there and buy some of these little like resin pieces as well and look how cute these swans are. Now he's got a really good base on him or her, but aren't they just beautiful? And I bought some of these little flowers. These kind of look like succulents actually. I think they're super cute, but look at these really beautiful pink roses. These are like a vintage pink. And then I guess these are like a poinsettia maybe. But look how pretty these are. And I like that color too. It's different. I've got black glitter all over me. But I mean these are only like a couple of dollars a pack of that. So it's I, and it took me a while to get these but it's well worth the wait really. But if you're wanting to use stuff like that for your, to decorate with, you're better off going ahead and trying to get it now. They also have these stickers, I know. These are recollection stickers that um, Michaels has and their little gingerbread men. They're super cute. And then these are little bow stickers that are at the Target dollar spot. They were a dollar. Or Bullseye Playground now. I guess it's not really a dollar anymore. But they're just cute little red bows if you don't want to have to make them yourselves. Um, and then greenery. So Hobby Lobby has all their greenery on sale. Michaels, Joann's, they all have their Christmas stuff on sale now. They had these. This is $2.49 and it's listed in the Christmas section. So it was 40% off. But it just makes me think of primitive stuff and I figure I'll end up adding it to some sort of different ornaments that I make this year. I bought these at AC Moore and they were on clearance and I'm not sure if it was because they were considered summer colors. Yep, it was simply spring so that's why. And these were $2.99 but I swear I got these probably 70 or 80% off. And I used to be a traditional colors type Christmas girl, but I do like the blues. So now I'm branching out to the pinks and the mints, especially with like that Frank Garcia um, Santa baby paper. I just think that's beautiful. And so I thought these would come in handy. Hobby Lobby has um, this branch, which is $2.99. I cut just different pieces off of this and use it on all kinds of different things. So I get so many uses out of just one of these that it makes it well worth it. And then this one I believe is one that is from Michaels. Hobby Lobby has these two for like $1.99 or $2.49. It's not as many on it, but they are more expensive if you get these at Michaels. And, um, but I like just cutting these off with the wire cutters and using these two to add to some of the ornaments. So I'm gonna shove all this stuff out of the way. And I also wanted to show you, I've only made a couple of these so far, but they have this little cute um, Santa sleigh at the Dollar Tree as well. 
and you can do so much more with this. So it's got the little hanging part and all this is held into here with a wire. And if you undo that wire, you can kind of take apart this. And you can kind of take out the little cheapy looking pieces. Now, I think the bow looks grand. So I kept the bow on the couple that I've done so far. But you kind of just have to untwist it to get the bow apart. And as you can see, this pine cone is plastic. So it's not my favorite. This little greenery is kind of cheap, but if you, it's really strong though, because I'm even having a hard time bending it. But I think it looks good if you kind of bend it together and, you know, make it a little bit more bushy and maybe, you know, apply it with some hot glue that way and then add some other stuff to the center. And then that's where I have used some of these really cute poinsettias. Now, I've got some dyes. I hope to make some of these myself. But I just haven't got that far with things. Um, I'm trying not to go up and down my stairs too much, honestly. But it's hard. I'm going to try to get that out of the way. I hope that it's not a distractor as far as showing you some of these. And so far, I haven't, I've made 11 of these this morning. And I'm not done with these, but I just wanted to go ahead and get on here and share with you some of the things that I had done. And so, check this one out. Now, <laughs> this little resin piece came in with some of the others. And I think you get like 12 pieces. She's flat backed. I have ordered some from another supplier that they're short and stubbier. Um, and they're really cute too. But I love that deer. She is so cute. I think if I could go back and order some more of that one, I would. And SS Crafter had these last year that were very similar to this if it's not the same thing. Um, but it's so cute. And I just put some of those little pink balls in the back and I added some snow mixture which is actually um, salt with some glitter mixture that I used for the um, bed spring snowmen that I made as well so there's that one. Oh, and I put a little gem on the front of it this was from uh, Michael's it's just in their section of flat back uh, pearls and rhinestones and I'm going to hopefully maybe even pull some more of those out. Maybe just to kind of decorate the lanterns a little bit more. And like I say, I do want to add a saying to them all. You know, like Merry Christmas or something. Happy Holidays, whatever. This is another one with the little deer. It's so super cute. I'm going to try to make um, a couple of the same ones and, and speed up the process that way. But I use some trim. This is actually out from at Walmart it's in their gift packaging selection and um, it's almost like a pipe cleaner but it has you know like tinsel on there and I just thought it was really pretty and it's kind of got like a blue hue to it if you have it up to um, something white and it's not really catching it on camera right now but and then I added one of those little beads there and I've added two trees in there and then of course that snow mixture into that one this is a little gnome now he was in a package of three gnomes but I went ahead and added one of the fairy doors I added a little separate um, flower to that that one didn't come on it and then there were was a little mushroom that was inside of the this door as well too and then a couple of trees and I see I'm talking a lot so I'm going to try to speed these up this has a little gnome in it I added one of the poinsettias um, years ago I bought a big huge pack of pine cones and I've sprayed some of them with that spray snow and I've still got a bunch with the snow on them as well as without and so I'm going to add a bunch of those to different things this year. And they're, they're like realistic if they're not real pine cones. But they look nice and they're not those plastic ones like that were on it. 
and then I added some of these berries and then some other little greenery and there's a couple of trees in there with him and there's actually three trees in here so and then like I said with one of those I made it just a little bit higher than the other one by keeping part of that stem on there and then this one is a fairy door this is one of the other fairy doors it's super cute it's got the little purple flowers on it so I kind of added just the purple and the pink flowers and one of the little mushrooms and then there's the mushroom there fairies welcome and this is one of the other little this one's not a flat back I guess the other pink one is kind of like a flat back one and he's like a whole piece and isn't she just darling oh I bumped the cord I didn't even bump the camera I bumped the cord that time sorry and I've got some of the black glitter from the other one on here this is not stuck down but I guess by um, static it is and then oh, love this one okay it's the swan and I bought some like a little feather boa at Hobby Lobby and I've cut up pieces of it to go in around this little swan and I've got some greenery on this I think I'm gonna add something else to the outside of it um, definitely a saying but I think I'm gonna end up adding something else to this one too and I made uh, three of these and I have two with the black and I put a bell up here but I haven't added quite anything else to it I thought the greenery on these added a good touch to that um, but the white one and then I have this the white one and um, then I added the white feathers too and a couple of these pink um, berries to it and I added one of the little sprigs and I love those you can make these yourself you know by winding it around um, something really thin like a, a maybe a stir or something but isn't that pretty so I definitely want to add a little something else to these I'm just not sure quite what yet sometimes I'll start these and I'll go away from it and look at it the next day and it'll hit me maybe what else I want to add to it I did think about adding some of this to it but I hate to put too much more white in there but that would probably look really pretty even with the black one but she is just so pretty and one of the eyes were messed up on these and I ended up just taking a white gel pen and going over around the eye I can't even tell which one it was now that's great okay here's one with one of the other little elephants in there and I added some of the reindeer moss that the Dollar Tree sells to the bottom of this because I was like what can I add in there and I guess it doesn't really make it a shaker element that way but I thought that it just made it really super cute to have um, the grass in there and I added some of these other little flowers succulents whatever they are and then there's um, a little mushroom that came from the fairy garden section at Michaels I think they're like $2.99 and you get a whole little bundle of them and I just break them off and use them for all kinds of different things and here's another little fairy door in the black and I've added that mixture to it I glued the sign to the fairies welcome to the back of it and added a couple of um, flowers there and added the mixture of uh, it's a coarse salt it's kosher salt and um, glitter mixes that I have in there like a fine and a and one just like this is in there and then this is the gingerbread man one um, this is I got these at Hobby Lobby they come like in a pack of 15 or 20 and they look like little um, sugared candy balls and I thought well that's really cute to add to a gingerbread man and I got a couple little of those um, other ones uh, that are like holly berries that came on a stem just like the white ones did and then I added one of the little bows and then I've had these forever these actually had a little hook on it and I cut that hook off of it and 
just super and super glued ha hot glued it to this side too and so there's the little gingerbread man and there's a couple of trees in there and then that snow mixture so these have come out really cute so far like i say i'm not even really done with all those there's some things that i just want to add a little something extra to the outside of them on on those i think four dollars a piece is my max on that um just because you know it's hard sell around here. Maybe if I go to a bigger city like over here. Whoops. Maybe if I go to a bigger city over towards Roanoke, um, maybe I would ask five for these. Cause and really doesn't take that much work. But all the little elements in it and keep adding to it just kind of increases the cost of it. Now on the little snowman or Santa sleigh, I kept the greenery for this one and I cut it in half. And then I added a couple of those poinsettias. I was going to just do one, but two just really looked good. And I left that really pretty um, ribbon already on there. And I added one of the berries to that. I think that is so cute. I do want to add something else to the center of it. Um, I don't know if you have ideas for that. Leave them in the comments down below. I know um, so many of you are so talented. And sometimes when you're on the outside looking in, you can think of something else so maybe i'll put um candy or something in it um that seems like a decent idea but we'll see and these could be really good ones to do at the hospital this year for when we um, make up baskets for the people that are actually in the hospital during christmas time and then they have the silver ones and i did the same with this but i didn't use the greenery that it came with i just added some that i had in my stash, a couple of those poinsettias, one of the berries, and I put the gingham bow on the back of this one. And that's what, I, this was the, actually the original one, uh, the original one that I made. So if I had it to do over again, I think I would add it to the side again. And I looked, that thing stuck on there pretty good. Sometimes you can really remove stuff with the um, hot glue and sometimes not so much. So anyways, if you have any other ideas for these, leave them in the comments down below. If you like these type of videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, I'm just kind of sharing some of the things I've done. I want to show you more of the bed spring things that I've made because I've made some other really, really cute ones. And um, But I, like I say, I haven't been able to do a whole, whole lot. I've been binge watching a lot of different videos and so many talented people out there. Um, I'm really loving some paper craft stuff. I saw a blog hop last week of some of a couple gals, and so I'm so inspired by some of the things they made for like Halloween, and I'm like, oh, I'm practically skipping Halloween right now. And that makes me sad because I love Halloween. My mom's birthday's on Halloween, and I just love it. And all my kids are grown. Like my youngest is, 13 this year and I don't even know if he'll go trick-or-treating I doubt it but anyway um but you know things like these with the Dollar Tree ornaments some of these are so stinking cute just the way they are but you know you can just take them to a whole nother level by adding stuff to them so if you like this uh, let me know if um if you're having a great week, I um, I hope it keeps getting even better. Um, if you're having a difficult time, um, I've been praying a lot lately because just so much is going on right now. Um, huh, I could get, like last night, going to see the movies. I started crying. And I tend to feel other people's emotions really fast. I can put myself in that position so easily um so I, I tend to think that i am more of an um, empath even you know if somebody starts crying i could start crying too just they wouldn't even have to tell me what's wrong you know i'm just that much of an emotional feelings type person so um i only have good thoughts for you all i love you all thanks so much for your support um i really hope to get into I'm doing a few more things like this um, and sharing with you some things and even showing you um, some other things that I would be doing for Christmas ornaments this year. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you all take care 
and I hope you have a really great day. Thanks. Bye.